final, Fiji against Ireland for the gold medal in Toulouse. The last five meetings look like this across the series. It's four to one to Fiji, but Ireland did beat them in Singapore, 21 to 12. So they will take that with confidence into this game. Here are the starting lineups for Fiji. The captain, Tavita Dangunu, looked to Bolatha and Nathungu in midfield to really pull the strings for this team. They got loads of power and pace as usual. But for Ireland, Terry Kennedy, the leading try scorer on the tournament. He carries the ball more than any player in World Rugby Sevens. They are a team that have big threats and they will give Fiji a real shake here. Wonderful support for Fiji here. There are plenty of rugby players who have come out of the Fijian Islands who call France home these days. And there are loads of family and friends here that have been here all weekend. They've been in the stands singing. But the Irish are here as well in numbers. The Irish Rugby Football Union got together and some parents of the women's team who just missed out on a bronze medal a little, a little earlier. There are some of their teammates and friends and family. They, they were supporting them all weekend and the men. So equal support for both teams ahead of this gold medal match. Great atmosphere and that's what they're playing for. The Toulouse Sevens trophy. This place was absolutely rocking a little earlier when France took the bronze medal in the men's competition. Different type of atmosphere now, but absolute respect for both of these teams. They know the quality on show, not least Fiji, who are defending their France Sevens title one in 2019 up in Paris. Let's pause now for the anthems. It'll be Ireland's call, followed by God bless Fiji. Here is the national anthem of Ireland. Mesdames, Messieurs, voici l'hymne de Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, the anthem of Fiji.
It means something. There's no doubt about that. It's their national sport, Rugby Sevens in Fiji. It's a, a right on 4.30 in the morning in the Fijian Islands. It's great to have your company. Thanks for joining us wherever you're watching. And Carl Tanana. These moments don't come around all that often for a lot of players. They do come around often for Fiji, but not Ireland until today. One of the most iconic anthems, one of those iconic moments for Fiji as they lift the ball carrier high in the air. The respect that Fiji showed to the game and the host outstanding. Can't wait for this route, but this is going to be a blast. The HSBC World Rugby Seven Series in Toulouse. A gold medal match in the men's competition. Ireland are here at this stage for the very first time, but they want to go all the way. Gianluca Gnecchi from Italy will take care of the final. Big responsibility on his shoulders. And Terry Kennedy, who's been outstanding for Ireland, waits for the kickoff. Hush around the Stade Ernest Ballon. The seven Supremos, Fiji against the new kids on the block. Ireland. The men in green, left to right, have possession early. Roach, you saw the crucial try in the semi final to get them here. There's his fellow sevens original. Harry McNulty helping him win the ball, but Fiji get the early penalty in a dangerous part of the field for Ireland. Booker Yaro gets the ball away to Vakaduna Mbili, and now Waisea Nathungu, a couple of Tokyo gold medalists in combination there. He flings it in field, and Fiji, within 40 seconds, have a try in the cup final, and it's the captain who does it. Oh, yeah, what about this guy here? Nathungu, he had no space to work in, gets rid of Conroy. Keeps in the play. Another defender comes across in Kennedy. And for a small man, he's just so strong. Look at that inside ball as well. Good following up by the skip. Dungu. And they start this one on fire, Fiji. Got to be so careful giving away decisions at the wrong end of the park against these outstanding rugby sevens players. Conversion. Has made it so they get the maximum and they lead it seven to nothing in the Toulouse final. Nathunga who set that one up. Those twinkling sky blue boots we've been watching shriek around this field all weekend long. And he's come up with a brilliant restart here to again pin Ireland back deep. Oh, the experience from Fiji playing in so many finals. Ireland, I was wondering how the emotion of hearing their anthem would do to them, they have to settle down here and just compose themselves a little bit. Ireland ended an eight-game losing streak in that win over Fiji in Singapore. That will give them confidence. Muscle memory from that. Here's Harry McNulty. McNulty, good run out from him. He's got support from Kelly, but the ball inside just doesn't make it to Tom Roach. And that's an unforced error. Win finals, everything just speeds up that little bit more. It's a nice break from Harry McNulty. He has been fantastic this weekend for Ireland. He must be part of the dream team. There's moments like that against Fiji in the big game. You cannot miss. So that'll be a Fiji feed to the scrum. Bukiyaro, he's got Nathungu out to his right. Big Bakarun on Billy. And Anakai Bata will firm up this scrum for Fiji. Okiyaro goes digging, Roach is all over him, and Ireland have possession here. Roach has it to Kelly. So good scrum from the Irishman. Roach again. Terry Kennedy to Jordan Conroy. Conroy, all the pace in the world. Stop go from him, wisely so. Fiji cut him off at the pass. Here's Tom Roach. Good carry from one of the new faces in this island team, but they get done for not supporting their weight at the breakdown, and Fiji can come away with it. Missed opportunity for Ireland. 
But they've got the ball back. It's Terry Kennedy. Kennedy draws the defender, gives it to Conroy, and Jordan's in the corner. Well, that's a good way to set yourself down. Great reply from the Irish. And that's that combo again. Terry Kennedy to Jordan Conroy. Man, this breakdown area has been contested fiercely at the moment in this first seven minutes. Kennedy straight over the pill. Just the peripheries at the, of the man to realise where his fast man was. And it comes in the form of Jordan Conroy. Easy as you please. Kick from wide out to level it up from Mark Roach. And he nails it. Straight through the middle. We are level in Toulouse. Yeah, Canada did it the first time they went to a final. That was an all North American affair between Canada and the USA in 2017. Kelly on the chase. Puts Bolatha. Another gold medalist from Tokyo in this current Fijian squad. Of course, head coach by former England star Ben Gollings these days. And his Lysaia Nathungu gives the ball away. Tofano Kaivata, he thunders upfield as well. Good slick stuff, this from the Olympic champions. Over the halfway line, Satoranga. Here's Vakarun on Billy. Thought about the offload. It's gone forward, so a chance for Kennedy and Ireland to counter attack here. He's got Conroy with him, he'll choose to kick. Conroy's on the chase. Nathungu on Conroy. Conroy just trips over the heels of why Seya Nathungu. Certainly wasn't intentional. Ball stays in field. And like a thief in the night, Terry Kennedy says, Thank you very much. I'll pick that one up and score. Oh. Extraordinary stuff. Oh, yeah, this guy is in some sort of form. He's the one that kicked it through for a speed man. Conroy, this is a good race here. Nathungu, Jordan, Conroy. This was straight up bizarre. I think he thought it was going to go over. Great work by Kennedy. That is awareness. Supreme stuff by him. Terry Kennedy has now scored 37 tries this series. He leads that department in all players. That conversion doesn't make it, but Ireland are in the lead. Correction, 39. Sorry, Terry. He scores them so quickly, it's hard to keep up. Roach, one of the best drop kick restarters in the business, goes straight down the middle for Kelly once more. Really high that one. Back Kelly close. almost had too much time. Four and four. That just went forward between oh, Roach just on. and Kelly. Oh, that was unlucky there for Ireland because Fiji had all no. gone to the Irish right. side but expecting the tap back, so they were exposed in the middle of the park, just couldn't take it. Watch out for a green scrum pile, not the first game here. before the ball foot fits in. They're right? all gone past the ball. Connects. Communication just not there at the moment for Fiji. It's like a double bluff, wasn't Roach! it? Grim. From Fiji, thinking they're gonna get the knockdown. Kelly had all the time in the world. Fox in the red. Ireland with a five point advantage. But here come Fiji. So dangerous. Oh, and they're through again. They are through again. It's Bolatha who will run away. He did this in the semi final and he's done it again in the gold medal match. We're level. The conversion will be the go ahead score. Yeah, great work by Ben Gollings, starting him. He's been coming off the bench predominantly this weekend, but Napoloni Bolatha, absolute game changer. That is a good matchup, wasn't it? Against Kennedy, the stop and go. He's just so smooth, so smooth when he changes direction, Bolatha. He was a nominee for the 2021 World Rugby Men's Sevens Player of the Year. One by the Argentinian, Marcus Moneta, but Bolatha with a big play in the cup final. Nathunga with the extra two. Fiji back in front. They lead the gold medal match at the break by 14 points to 12.
James Topping. He's in charge of this Ireland Sevens team. There he is, formerly of Ulster and Ireland. 15s and 7s. Such a good job with this team to get them to this stage. Now with one of the toughest jobs in World Sevens Rugby, looking after Fiji. He's got Billy Young and Satala with him as well. They would have played against each other a number of times. The experience of this Fiji team in their first half really showed out, didn't it? A minute after the whistle had gone, they took the lead. Welcome back to the Stad Ernest Vanel in Toulouse. We're halfway through the men's cup final between Fiji and Ireland. Oh, and look at that. The Black Ferns and the Fijiana together in the stands. If ever you want an image that sums up this wonderful sport of rugby sevens, that's it right there, KT. Oh, 100% showing their support for their Pacific Island neighbours. Oh, man, they played out some games over the weekend, didn't they? Good one at the Olympics as well. Billy Dardis. Ireland captain gets us underway. Lifted high at the restart. Huge strength to make sure the player was safe there. Nathungu, no sweeper for Ireland, so he kicks in behind. McNulty's chasing back as it's Billy Dardis. Dardis winning the race at the moment. Chips ahead again by Nathungu. And getting back for Ireland it was Andrew Smith. Fresh legs off the bench. They needed him there. Oh, did they what? Man, oh man, speed showing by both teams. Great contest. The heads up play from Nathunga, realizing the situation the island were in with no sweeper. So 22 dropout. Don't see a huge amount of these in rugby sevens. But it's fallen into Fijian hands. Dangerous with players stretched all the way across the field. Here come Fiji looking to extend their two-point lead here. Bakarun on Billy to Nathungu. Offload over the top and another one. And the big fella flies into the corner. Bakarun on Billy. And Nathungu in tandem. That was brilliant. Oh, he's been one of their best players this weekend. Bakarun on Billy. Great build-up once again. Look at the big man trailing. Look at the athleticism to hit a low level of player. And the awareness staying, oh, how good is that finish? Oh, athletes in motion. Big Harry McNulty trying to take him out as well. He's got some size about him. Conversion from out wide, won't make it. Remains seven points the difference. That's one score. And Vakarun Ambili has earned himself a rest. He's replaced by Semi Kunatani. Well, you think you're getting some relief with the big fella coming off and then you get big semi coming on, so good luck with that. Island, though, for me, Rupert, this is the most important kickoff of their tournament. They really need this one. Yeah, Semi Kunatani, a Rio Olympic gold medalist, replacing the Tokyo gold medalist, Bakarun Ambili. Long kick again, trusting their defensive Fiji. And they go in for the heavy hit on the chase. The ball's loose. Danger signs again for Ireland. And Fiji are in again. It's Elia Thanakaivata who has chased the ball 50 metres and got his reward with a try in the final. Look at this defence though, the really later platform. Take that big shot across the chest of Smith. And then the breakdown work again from Fiji was good. And there's the guy who put the shot on. Thanakaivata. And now they're starting to enjoy themselves. It all come from that long kick. They've done it twice. That's a Ben Golling special for sure. Try and turn Ireland around and make them play from deep in their own quarter. Conversion doesn't get there. Remains 24-12. It's a two-score game now. 3.40 to go. Plenty of time. 
but a heck of a lot of work to do for Ireland in the first cup final. Here's Conroy, can he be the difference? He so often has been for Ireland in big games, and he's bursts away here. There's Jordan Conroy up towards the halfway line. He's got Billy Dardis with him. What a run from Jordan Conroy. McNulty arrives for Ireland. Here's Kelly now. Flat pass across, and it's got too much heat on it. That almost shift, went into row C. <laughs> Oh, it's a shame there for Ireland. Like I said, it all started from a nice run from Conroy. This guy's played a mini final eight, for England. He's in all that experience. Look at those stats. Unparalleled. They'll never be caught. 2,000. 652 points, that's for sure. He has been there and done that. And there was a, there was a very talented shortlist for that job, I can tell you. And ben Gollings got the gig. Already a gold medal in Singapore, and they're three minutes away from another one here. Ireland need possession. Can of play to the try scorer. Bolatha to Rasaku. He's come off the bench, and he is just scintillating to watch this guy. So powerful and strong. They get the penalty, and they're going to go quickly here. Ah, Fiji, Masamoa offloads the ball, and they're in again. The man who started it, Kaminieli Rasaku, might have put one firm Fijian grip on the Toulouse Sevens trophy. Oh, yeah, it's going to be hard for Ireland to pull them back now. There's a celebration from Fiji and the great footwork for Masamoa oh, Rasaku, sorry. Manueli Masamoa he made his debut just before Christmas last year in Dubai. He funded his university and rugby career through working on the family farm. Well, he's having a bit of, of a field day out here at the Stade Ernest Vallon. Conversion doesn't get there, 29-12, but, well, it'll take something of a miracle now for Ireland from here. Back underway, McNulty. It's not ten. It's not ten. Not ten. Chooses not to play it. Didn't go the ten, so they get the free kick on the centre spot. A minute twenty-five to go. Dardis, Kennedy, McNulty. Oh, he's hit hard by Semi Kinasani, who used to call Hello. this ground home for Toulouse in the top fourteen. Offload off the floor. Here they come again. Nathungu. Oh, heavy hit coming in on him from Andrew Smith, the Leinsterman. Forces the penalty. And here he goes again. Smith over the top. Good hands to scoop that one off the floor from Brian Mullen. Here's Kennedy. Shane Mullins being given some time here down the stretch in this final. Billy Dardis. He's got McNulty with him. McNulty who scored the try that sealed their Olympic spot in Monaco last year, but that's been intercepted by Semi Kunatani. And here come Fiji and the crowd, the noise, the dish offload read by Kennedy. A simultaneous contact there, would you say? Oh, geez, it was. <laughs> Normally Fiji will score nine times out of ten in that situation. Some good work from Semi Kunatani. But equally, that's great Final defense from Kennedy. Kennedy Perfectly timed. You get that wrong, that's late. And it's a penalty try. With no one behind. But we're approaching the final seconds here. And Ireland, you learn from these experiences, Carl. I imagine getting in finals and it perhaps not going your way. But the first time they've done it, this will do a huge amount for their development. Oh, sometimes you've got to lose one to win one. I've got the taste now. They know what works on them, working out their formula. And they've got the goods too, so they can hold their heads up high for sure. Dardis squashed underneath that collapsed no, scrum. No, no, it's a penalty to Fiji. Lifting you heard the cockerel. Yeah, yeah. The sound for the end of the game, but you can't finish on a penalty. It's to Ireland, in fact. So Ireland will get one final shot here to try and finish their Toulouse event on a height. Yeah, Harry McNulty says, let's go to the line. It's been a launch pad for them. He's been so great in that department. Yeah, McNulty, Roach, Kennedy, 
part of those Sevens Originals when they regenerated this program from the fifth tier of Rugby Europe in Bosnia in Division C 2015. And here they are, year after their Olympic appearance in a cup final. It's not going to go their way, but it's been an outstanding journey to this stage. McNulty wins it in the middle, down to Dardis. Sean Kearns is out there as well. Shay Mullins, good carry from him. He's got Kearns with him, Dardis. Smith gets away from Kunatani, and another Andrew Smith just chopped to the floor. Ireland looking to finish their cup final with a try here. And who else? It'll be Jordan Conroy in the corner for Ireland. It won't be enough. But assuming this one gets awarded, that's something happy to put a smile on Irish faces. Yeah, did he get it down? It was a good chase by now to Valo. Yeah, we're good. John we're all good. Decision. Jordan yeah. Conroy gets a double in he the final. The Fantastic. Thanks. Try awarded. He always has a say. In games of rugby sevens, is this guy, Jordan Conroy. And it's hugs all round. Fiji are Toulouse sevens champions. The conversion doesn't make it from Ireland. But this team finished this tournament with six wins. The only team to have done that this weekend. Billy Dardis and Bolatha in conversation. Well done, Ireland, on reaching this stage. But Fiji, just a bit too good. They have won the Toulouse gold medal match by 29 points to 17. Second gold medal of the series since returning. Of course, they missed the Malaga and Sevilla events due to COVID restrictions in Fiji. But what a start for Ben Gollings and his career as head coach of the side. Oh, yeah, no doubt about that. He's come with his own style and things he wants to achieve. And defense has been one of them. That guy's been fantastic throughout the course of the weekend. But Kuru Nafili re really led the charge there. What I like about Ben Gollings and what he's trying to do with his Fiji inside. He's not trying to change him whatsoever. He's opportunities and they're really mixing well he knows what it takes to win finals he's been 24 than 112 at the elite level for england he's passing on this knowledge to these young men at the moment seneca natani on the left of shot a toulouse player in the top 14. <laughs> nice moment between him and harry mcnulty kunatani he's been all over the world harlequins in london they played him on the wing and at, and at seven i think a bit like eric rush back in the day he was that talented back in sevens in a year where we have a Commonwealth Games and a, and a Sevens World Cup in South Africa to look forward to as well. So who knows, maybe he'll add to his Rio gold medal. OK, let's go sideline now with Willy Lose and the Fiji captain. Thanks very much, Rupert. Tavita, congratulations. You've got the match ball, but you've also got the biggest smile in the place. How happy are you about how the boys played? Uh, well, uh, first of all, on behalf of the men's men, the players, we would like to thank God. Uh, he's a source of strength. He's a uh, he's a source. Uh, without him, we wouldn't have uh, we couldn't have achieved this. And uh, we give him back the glory. And uh, we are so happy uh, in regards to the, our performance today, and especially the result. Scoring just before the half-time break. That was an important time of the game. But you just seem to get better and better. What is it about this team that always brings the best? Uh, the key for us was uh, teamwork. Uh, we were told to teamwork, work, work as a team uh, in defence, likewise in uh, attack. And uh, during half time, uh, coach reminded us to stick to our game plan, to kick the ball to the, the 22. And we work hard as a team, work, uh, work uh, hard for each other. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we have uh, do the right thing and uh, we have do it right. It's early hours of the morning in Fiji, but I know that everybody's up watching. Have you got a message for your fans back home? Uh, yeah, to to all the Fijians around the globe, uh, and uh, especially those back at home, uh, the win is for you. Uh, we do know that uh, your... Uh, they are... In Fiji, no game. Yo, we're coming here, maybe, to kill us, and we're coming here, and we're coming here, and we're coming here, uh, I thank the boys 
for the job well done. Uh, it's a 10 hours difference for me at home, but uh, we managed to to go through that, and I salute them for their effort. Vanaka. Yeah, congratulations to Vita Dangunu. Yeah, about 5 a.m. in Fiji, so great to have your your company with this gold medal. Watching your cherished Fiji Sevens team win another gold medal on the Sevens World Series. Okay, let's go back to Willie Lose now. He's with the HSBC Player of the Final. Yeah, well, I say congratulations, Player of the Final. Boy, that was a tough, tough effort out there. Ireland certainly brought their A game. Yeah, well, to, first of all, thanks a lot for giving us the same uh, three-day tournament. Uh, secondly, we thank the boys for the effort, uh, for the hard work. And uh, I thank the Ireland team, they are good team. Uh, thank you. Why is this Fijian team so good in finals? What is it? What's the secret? Uh, secret for the we motivate ourselves for our family, uh, for the support. And uh, all the in Fiji, they all support us in the prayer. Uh, thank you. All right, Vanaka, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, he was absolutely brilliant, Waisa Nathungu. He always is.